at the end we saw him put on the hat, I wonder if it was like a kind of like a, a mini story arc of city to country. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking, maybe I'm going too far into it, but I thought it was interesting. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking our very first look at the band Home Free, the vocal band band Home Free, which I got to tell you is not something that I thought that I would be taking a look at um, when I first started doing reactions on this channel, but it's been a lot of fun. Obviously, I haven't done a whole bunch of acapella type uh, reactions, but the acapella uh, community has been so wonderful, so inviting. You guys have had a lot of great things to say about Home Free, so I'm really excited to take a look at this with you guys. Before we go on, I do have to mention my mandatory disclaimer. This is going to be a reaction slash analysis video, which means I'm going to be pausing the video. Uh, it's a short video, two, two minutes, 58 seconds, so I don't see myself pausing it more than twice. Um, but I will be pausing it nonetheless to give a little bit of, you know, feedback, analysis, stuff I like, stuff I think they're doing exceptionally well from my experience, which isn't a lot, admittedly, in acapella, so I forgive me in advance. And, of course, I'll be mentioning some things here and there while the video is playing. Uh, so if that's something that annoys you or it's something that you don't like, uh, probably best to skip this one. With all the logistics stuff out of the way, uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Love Bonfires are awesome. Is a burning thing. Mm, that's it nice. Makes a fiery ring. That's beautiful. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring <laughs> of fire. I, that sounds awesome. The taste of love is sweet. When hearts like ours meet. And I fell for you like a child. Those upbeats. Whoa. The violin Jesus. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's so much to already <laughs> talk about uh, uh, that I love so much. First of all, I'm I'm from Texas, so this kind of sound really speaks to me <laughs> in a way. Oh man, there's so many things that I want to talk about. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and keep it all focused and try to remember everything so I don't forget. So the, the the very first thing, I'll start at the beginning. I really liked the juxtaposition between the introduction and the main body of the song. But speaking from a technical standpoint obviously not a vocal technical standpoint because i'm not uh well versed at all in choral singing but uh, musically what i found really impressive was you know the harmonies the the accompaniment behind the introduction was just so clean and pure like it was so in tune the attacks and releases were spot on i it almost sounded like a computer was doing that stuff, but computers don't sound that good. To hear to hear a group, to hear musicians really nail attacks, really nail intonation, really nail releases, all that stuff, I just find super impressive. And it's not something you can hear all that often because it requires such perfection. Uh, the second thing I, I kind of wanted to mention is along those lines, uh, but a little bit more difficult. They 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 were singing some upbeats, the accompaniment throughout, and those were also so clean. And to, not to mention that it's so difficult to really nail those those upbeats. It's something that students struggle with a lot, upbeats, and it's something that I mean, not just students. A band that I used to play with, <laughs> there was one 
part in one of our songs where they were singing accompaniment in upbeats and it just never ended well. I have more to say, but I'll save it for later on because I really want to keep going here. Love is a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring Bound still got those by wild desire I fell in to a ring of fire That sounds good. I like that group. Ooh. And it burns. That was a nice burns, one. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Just green to the face. The ring of fire. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really interesting. Okay, the video is a lot of fun, uh, mostly because I really enjoy seeing them perform, feeling the music. Uh, I, you know, I, I've heard a few, not a lot, a couple of acapella pieces, especially, you know, Avi. Um, it was really good to see him in this in this video. I'm just always so impressed by the how, how low these guys can sing, both of them. You know, it's just so very impressive something i couldn't even dream of reaching probably ever in my life and that's just one aspect of their vocal range they can hang with the best of them in in, in upper ranges so that's something that's really impressive i've obviously got to talk a little bit about um is it adam rupp you know i'm not familiar with these guys it's the first time i watched so i hope i got that right um but it, i he, first of all he has such nice little grooves it's obviously more centered it's not the same style or feel as pentatonics but it's really true to the style that they're trying to convey and the one thing that i found really in the best way possible off-putting was his sound he almost sounded like an electronic drum set he's got so many interesting sounds in his repertoire and i was really impressed by it because i mean it was, it's like what is who is that can't be him making those noises and i've seen a couple of beatboxers uh in my time because you know percussion drum set something that it, it kind of transcends different uh modes of musical presentation so to speak and i'm still impressed um by him and the last kind of thing i wanted to talk about was it was really interesting to hear uh the two different types of performance when avi started singing obviously he sounds great intonation wise all that all that jazz uh but his his voice sound was almost more round and i wonder if that's a product of the type of music that they each perform because I, I really apologize. Um, I don't know the, besides Adam Rupp, I don't know the names of, of the members of Home Free very well at all. So feel free to, to give me a list down below on who each of them are, because I know you guys know it. Uh, you guys are pros. But my friend covering the bass line for the most part in Home Free, it's interesting to hear the differences in, in sound. Uh, and I'm not saying that one is better than the other. I'm talking about like, uh, pronunciation, diction, all that stuff that you learn, you know, uh, I only know the basics in music school when you're when you're a vocalist. The twang versus the more rounded sound, obviously the twang fits really well into this style of song, video, uh, what they really do, you know, uh, as, as a group, Home Free, they focus more on the countryside aspect of it. And they all sound great. I mean, they, it's just a great sounding group who really i mean you'll you'll hear me talk about on this channel serving the, the song more and serving the genre uh that home free obviously does really well and i heard it in avi too which uh, i thought was really cool uh toward uh middle towards the end and i wonder if that was by design showing at the, at the end we saw him put on the hat i wonder if it was like a kind of like a, a mini story arc of city to country I don't know. Maybe I'm looking, maybe I'm going too far into it, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I had a blast checking out Home Free. They're a lot of fun. Um, I, obviously this is the first one, so I'm looking forward to more 
in the future. So if there's any other uh, videos that you guys want me to react to, want me to talk about, put on the channel, feel free to leave that down below uh, in the comments and I'll try to get, I'll try my best to get to them as best as I can. I have a list that I'm already working on that involves pentatonics. I think it also involves more home free. Uh, but if you have more suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. But yeah, uh, once again, thanks so much for welcoming me into your circle. Um, it's been a very warm welcome. I really appreciate it. There are, there are some groups that um, aren't as kind. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you really like the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, um, if you want to see more from me, not necessarily music based, but more from me in general, I'll leave a link down below to my secondary channel. If you guys want to check that out, <laughs> that one is far more loose than this channel is. Uh, you'll get to know me a little bit better, uh, a different side of me. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free uh, to check that out. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.